Thank you, Will, uh, Painter. That's really a great question. Um, well, uh, minerals that are nine atoms small, small or smaller than nine atoms happen to not be diatomic metals that would ordinarily then be crystallized and become uh, larger particles. But uh, element which is in its nine or smaller uh, particle size doesn't crystallize and it's more in its colloidal form and uh, humix and fulvic acid can complex that and makes that uh, usable to fit into the machinery uh, but all minerals are excreted as a neutral salt um, and our body is not composed of the mineral necessarily that we uh, ingested but certainly in biological transmutation uh, in a test tube after a short period of time uh, there could be a lot more iron in there than there was before because of biological transmutation and this sort of thing but um, uh, we're closest to minerals through bacteria and bacteria have to complex that mineral and humix and fulvix are primary substances that are produced by lithophilic bacteria which are rock loving bacteria and they eat rocks and they snack on them and they produce these acids which assist to help to complex that uh, mineral so that nature uh, can use this. Anyway we'll hope this is uh, assisted to help with this question. Oh, Will, and also, if you mix um, baking soda, uh, sodium bicarbonate, um, with uh, humix or fulvic acid, is it possible that some of that could become complex? Certainly. Uh, anything which is in that product which is smaller than nine atoms in its smallness and its size could become complex and be uh, able then to be used. Um, but with humix and fulvic acid it can be sometimes the only way that it's possible to get something into a cell because it can have quite a bit of calcium phosphate deposit on the outside of itself and uh, these humix and fulvix assist with an alkaline element to cause the dissolving of a lot of this calcium phosphate deposit in the body.